the I wouldn't say happy people, but satisfied, contented people. I knew were all people who lived in more than one world. Those single-minded people, you meet them most in politics. In the end, they're very unhappy people. There isn't that much room at the top. There's very little room at the top. Skills one can acquire, values no, and the people I've seen are really unhappy or in a position where the values of the organization don't fit them. And the effective executive of tomorrow will have to know how to make knowledge work effective, productive. He will also have to know how to organize his information. In the past, we always had a desperate shortage of information. Now we have an incredible overload of data. And the executive of tomorrow will have to learn how to transform data into information which very few know. The shift from managing manual workers, which we have largely computerized, to knowledge workers, which we are doing very poorly, and the productivity of knowledge work is still incredibly low, and it hasn't changed. Manual work uh, the great American contribution to the world economy was Frederick Winslow Taylor's looking at work. Nobody before 1880 had ever looked at work including Karl Marx, everybody took work for granted. And Frederick Winslow Taylor looked at work and saw that it was all wrong. And that is the great revolution. And within less than a hundred years, 60 years, the productivity of manual work went up about 50 times, 60 times probably. <laughs>